Abner. Little Abner. Every gal in town is after little Abner. Poor Abner. He's a superman and women. He'll give any man a trimming. But when it comes to kids and pretty women, little Abner goes, go, go. Daisy May pursues him. He always runs away. Daisy hollers. Get yourself all pretty up because your cousin Delightful's coming over from Pineapple Junction today. I remember's Granny. Hi ho! There's that lonesome polecat a messing around. Him and that harness Joe are two of the most worthless bachelors of the years. Well, stir yourself, gal. didn't tell secrets. Here, get some water for Granny. I'll get the kindling. Where's the ass? Me trade him to Mary and Sam for firebox. Why don't you light it? Firebox no good. So we wouldn't be putting up with them worthless critters to get a little work done. But, Granny, I told you. Look at you. There you stand with the best years of your life behind you. And there you hide in your hair of a husband as you got. But I ain't interested in marrying just any men, folks. I love the madness. Pretty soon the men, folks, ain't even going to look at you. They desire young. Gals will spunk. <laughs> I don't care. It's only a little after. Yes, you would, Granny. Well, it's about time. Get 
Is you very hungry this morning, son? Not ravenous, Mammy, just kind of. Well, in that case, I'll only put on just a few more. Is it, Pappy? Pappy! Is it? Your... He sure to prime my patience. I just go with Pansy. Either way, I'm coming. Here, son. Set yourself. I sure is hungry. Someday I ain't going to wake you up for breakfast. And you're going to sleep right through all your meals. Oh, one happy day. I reckon we has the finest food in all the world. Poke chops and eggs for breakfast, poke chops and goobers for lunch, and for supper, more poke chops. Even though this ain't Sunday, we Now, might... don't you start getting your mouth set for them preserved ton of exclusive ornamental yokum. Little Abner's taking them to the store directly after breakfast. See if you can make out this print. What do you make of it? Nothing. Good for fire. No, no. Reading. Howdy, fellas. Howdy, little Abner. Him read printing? So does. I can read writing and reading, too. Oh, you're the most intelligent young gentleman in Dolphin. I reckon I is. What him say? Among the distinguished visitors were tickle my bones. That certainly do sound pretty. Will be Dr. James A. Barber. The cell is braided. Is printing's all mixed up, y'all. I reckon I'll better study it out. T S Y C eight. What's that? Maybe it's a woodpecker. Maybe it's skunk hollers. Cicero grunts. Oh, it's your little Abner. What you doing here, boy? Oh, nothing. Just hanging these up for the sheriff. Don't you tell nobody you saw me with these papers. Go fetch yourself, Cicero grunts. We won't. What him say? $25 reward for Earthquake Magoon. Date or a lie. Better date for Robin, the first state bank of Jonesville. The sheriff. Hmm. And do it really say $25 cash money? That's what it say. Oh, that sheriff must think we all idiots. They ain't that much money in the whole of tarnation. Oh, shit. What's the use of talking? Anyone knows you can't go with a skunk holler and come out alive. So our guess is Magoon's safe. Hey, didn't I told you that paper ain't meant for making fire? Yeah, you'll keep it, little Abner. Maybe you can read again for us. I'll be glad to. Uh, well, I gotta get it going. So long. So long. Twenty-five dollars. clever people.
Mr. Larson, every time you come to visit, you just has messes of boys hanging around. Messes is right. You never seen such messes as some of them boys. Four days, you made it, you can't get even one. Oh, that's too bad. She's welcome to any of these. I don't think she'd be interested. She's plumb shot on just one boy. Where is she? Now, Lord, chasing after that little Agnes. You mean that big, handsome boy? Mm-hmm. Mm. I think I'll go down and look up the days in May. That's all, boy. Oh. Oh. Lovely. That's what he is, just plain lovely. Apple Junction? No. Is she maybe headed south for Sweet Patootie Corner? No. Why are you she headed for, little Abner? I'm a headed for so tar to John Stall. Well, I will ask for and receive five pounds of boiled ham, one spoon of thread number ten white, one can of pineapple, two pounds of cheese, half sold for Pappy's boots, one large jar of sweet patootie, one large jar of sour pickle, one bottle of catsup, one bottle of mustard, one can of pea potter for salome, two twists of pipe tobacco for my mammy. That are turns on my heel, makes a beeline for home. What a peak we are calling today. I said it's a soft holler John Stone likewise. So likewise, I used to turn on my heel and make a beeline back up. Oh. Soft. Soft's no reason why we can't walk together, is there? Ain't no law, Janet. does have you. There's nothing romantic about it. We both understand that. Don't we? Yes, little Abner. Give me your arm. What party flowers? Oh! about her to be in love of. She's only got golden yellow hair, no more golden yellow than the summer sun. Her eyes are only as blue as the sky. The teeth are no more white or shinier than pearls. As for her cheeks, I can show you plenty of peaches which is almost as soft and pink and white. Yo thinks love is what I is in up with her. Yo take that back! Little, little Abner, yo's right. She is just an ordinary, yarn-haired, blue-eyed, pinky-cheeked gal. Just like you'll say, anybody'd be a fool to be in love with her. Yes, sir, an awful fool. Oh, what for you about me? On account of what you done said about Daisy May. Oh, I said it was what you said. Correct. Only you said as if you meant it. I'll walk by myself, thank you. You're always getting me talked about. (laughs) 
Gosh! <laughs> Daisy May, I'm sure powerful glad to see you. Same here, delightful. What for you let him get away? I couldn't help it. I loved him so. What can be wrong? Maybe you need a new technique. Technique? What's that? Oh, that's what you gotta have to get him. Let's see. He's the tall, dark, and ignorant type. A boy like him requires only the crudest technique. It's the uh, you who less wound. Then do as your conscience tells you. Technique. Sure wish I had some. I'll show you how it's done. Will you? Nothing to it. Hello, Lil Abner. Howdy, Mr. Old-Timer. Look at her. She's the most humorous looking gal you ever see. Look at the bugle on. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. You're too young and innocent to know what you're laughing at. What do you mean, Old-Timer? What's this Sadie Hawkins' day? A long time ago, this girl, Sadie Hoyt here in Dorpatch. Yeah, she tried to catch herself a husband. Didn't have no luck. Finally, her pappy, who was a mayor, called all the bachelors of dog packs together, pulled out his gun and says, I declare today Sadie Hawkins' day. When I fires my gun, y'all can begin a run it. After you've got a fair start, Sadie will take out. And the man she catches is going to be her husband. That's how it started. Now, every year when Sadie Hawkins' day rolls around, Life ain't safe for any male critter in dog patch. Now, did you get the idea? I'll never be able to understand technique. Mr. Ladner. As a special favor to you, I'll contact you, little Ladner. You'll go hard and watch me work my technique. Can I? But you gotta promise to take him off my hands. After he falls madly in love of me. I'll be so glad to take him off in your hands. Go on, get him. What happened? He's even more ignorant than I thought. Morning, Barney Bargrave. Nice morning. Sure is. fall in just a minute. I'll give my dog Pat's lullaby, which my mammy teached me. <laughs> they always act like that at first. Oh. Oh, thank you, sir. You saved me. Why did you reckon he wanted to kiss me? Dog of fun knows I can't see no reason for it myself. You can't? I don't know why any intelligent man would want to go kissing a gal. Well, it ain't the kissing, our minds, it's the trouble it starts. You kiss a girl, and what happens? She gets romantical, she wants more. She follows you day and night, and finally your brain weakens and you marry her. She has lots of children. She gets old and gray worrying about them. So your children marries and has children, and then you not only got to worry about your children, but about your grandchildren. Your grandchildren has children, and by that time you has the misery and the rheumatism, and pretty soon you dies. That's why I don't like kissing. Oh, little Abner, yo is just my type. Yo ain't romantical, and that's just what I ain't. Is that what you ain't? Romantical is exactly what I ain't, as you can plainly see. Well. You're always one gal and an awful lot. Sure would be nice, but 
sit in that log and rest if I had some nice fancy boy to talk to. As far as sees one, ma'am, I'll be glad to send him back here. Trouble is, most boys get romantical, and I'd hate that. Natural. But Joe wouldn't get romantical, would you, Mr. Yoakum? Not me. That's fine. Then we can talk about interesting subjects. Something that ain't romantical. Show sure not. You know, it's kind of pretty in here with soft wind blowing through the trees and little birds singing. Beautiful flowers smelling up the air. You know what it makes me feel like? No, what do it make you feel like? Like discussing educational subjects. For instance, what to do if a skunk gets in your woodshed? You know, skunks is funny little critters. I like discussing educational subjects and uh, learn things. What'll we discuss? Let's discuss the subject of Eskimos. What's that? People. Would you like to know how Eskimos kiss? No. Oh, they don't kiss the way you think. Put out your hand. That's how Eskimos kiss. Oh, Eskimos is so wonderful. Ooh. Would you like to know how Eskimos shake hands? So would. Shut your eyes. Mm. Man, what a technique I got. Little Abner, little Abner, honey, is your hurt? Oh. Get out of sight. My technique is just starting to work. Get. Get. Did you like that, little Abner? Oh, I hated it. I knew kissing to do this. It hurt my head. I'm a going home. You ain't gonna run away after giving me such a nice kiss. Yo kissed me. I didn't kiss yo. Cause if I did, we'd be engaged. That's the code of the hills. <laughs> oh, my poor head. Oh. Ain't he honorable? I'm going back to Pineapple Junction. These men around here don't make no sense. You sure make sense to me. Fancy, you scrubbing a hide off my back. Might as well quit complaining, Lucifer. It's coming on winter and it's time for your bath. Oh, I'm the most unhappy man. Hi, Lucifer. Morning, fantastic Brown. Hmm. Don't seem like no time since I gave my fantastic his spring cleaning. Ow! Ow! Tain't human, that's what it is. Get for home. You're next. Oh, it ain't no ass near time for my winter scrubbing. Mammy. All feels damp, Mammy. And powerful hungry. Walker well, always does come noon. Eat yourself a sandwich. That'll keep you faint up. Sure. And don't damp quick till it gets through with Pappy. Fishing. He's getting himself some fiddles. Oh. 
<laughs> I'll go tell him on hell. <laughs> ben, do you have a little mercy on me? What'd you fix it, little Abner? The oakum starvation preventer. Smells like you got sweet patootie in it. Not only sweet patootie, but I asked also sour pickles. Ham and cheese with ketchup, pineapple, sardines off the can, of course. Two fried eggs left from breakfast, a rash of roast pork, lots of ketchup. Ain't you finished yet, Pansy? Oh. I started at the top. <laughs> you see? You're beginning to like it. Oh. <laughs> Just a few things and enough ketchup and horseradish and mustard to make her tasty. Mustard? You know that stuff ain't agreed with you since the time you ate that mustard plaster when you was a little baby. What you need is a doctor. There ain't no doctor around here. You know that. There'll be one. Says so right here. Dr. Barber will be on the limited when it stops at the county siding for water at noon. And that's right where I'm a go. <laughs> Don't be late for supper, son. <laughs> well, there she is. Oh, I wonder what Dr. Barber is at. Always fix the old soup bones when you get a chance. That's what I always say. Or if the man got on a white coat like doctors has, maybe that's Dr. Barber. I'll go ask him. You go that away in case it ain't. Joe Barber? That's me. What's in your mind, kid? Can you fix me up? Well, that's a pretty big order. <laughs> that mop looks like a busted mattress. But with my trusty scissors, I can probably fix you up all right. You ain't going to cut me, is you? Hmm? What's the matter with you, boy? I'm sick. Powerful sick. Well, now, what am I supposed to do? Bust out in tears? That'd be mighty sweet of you, but all I want to know is what ails me. Well, sir, <laughs> that's what we'd all like to know. Can't be my appetite. Because I just ate a combination ham, cheese, pineapple, sardine, sweet patootie, sour pickle, fried egg, preserved turnip, and roast hog sandwich. Whew! Whoa, with cats of horseradish and mustard, doctor. Doctor, well, uh, can't be your appetite, son. Let me see. <clears throat> Doctor, hmm? Stick out your tongue. Let me look at that tongue. Stick it way out, way out. That's it. Now, uh, say ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. You're flat. Is ah? Oh. Well, now, <clears throat> just uh, take a good deep breath now. Take a good deep breath. That's it. Now, stick your stomach out. Come on, stick it out. Stick it way out. That's it. Now, close your eyes. Oh! Did you feel a sharp twinge? All aboard. Oh, 
My boy, that's bad. That's bad. You've got it. You've got it. What has I got? You've got thrombosis. Thrombosis? Will I die? You're dead now from the neck up. How soon will the rest of me be dead? In 24 hours. I didn't find no Dr. Barber. Oh, I did. You did? What did he say? He told me I was going to be dead in 24 hours. On account of... I got scrombosis. You don't mean you'll be dead by tomorrow? Dated than a catfish hate come noon. That's life. Yar today, yar tomorrow. Oh, Mammy. How's your feelings, son? Oh, it's happy. How's your misery? My stomach feels fine. If only the doctor hadn't told me, I wouldn't know I was going to be dead in 24 hours. Dead? What you mean? Just plain dead. Oh, how rich. Well, all you got is a tinch of mustard poisoning. Mammy, you're always very comfortable. But I has prepared my mind. Well, son, if you're going to be dead, you're going to be dead. We will be more sad and lonely. Naturally. A daisy may will be more sad, too. Seems to me it ain't fair you're dying. And not telling her nothing about it. Those key wreck, Mammy. All that tells her I loves her. Do you? Uh, I mean that I uh, dislike her less than any other gal. What must I do, Mammy? You could marry up with her. I could. Now that I'm going to be dead. Uh, Sonia, your time's getting mighty short. I'm going to make love to her like she always wanted me to. <laughs> Happy, shut your face. Hannibal, you follow his little Abner. Does he do anything peculiar? Come back here and tell me. But Mrs. Yoakum, he might... Uh... He won't just do as I tell him. Yes, sir. <laughs> little Abner ain't going to be dead in 24 hours. He's going to be married with Daisy May. He is? Mm. <laughs> Happy, you is the most ignorant critter I ever did. <laughs> no. Well, I must say you hold your age pretty well. But you is a tempting face. I know. It's getting along. Well, you better take yourself a man this city hawking day. For you won't be able to run fast enough next year. To teach one? I don't want just any man. I want the Latin. Kindly step out yard with me. Yes, of course I will. The sharp place looks romantical enough. No. Sit down. Our now aims to come. Dog patch style? Dog patch style. You want to tell me I shall sweet patootie blossom. You want to tell me you loves me. That you just can't live without me. That's just exactly what I want to hear you say. Because love is what I was in love with you. Don't do that. I can't stand it. It's awful. Is it so awful just to have me near you, little Anthony? It makes me feel miserable. When I feel miserable, I was the most unhappy man. 
I don't want to make you unhappy, little Abner. Shanks. Daisy May. Yes, little Abner. Come back, y'all. Yes, little Abner. This ain't the way I planned it. Sit down. Shut your eyes. Or your white muslin with the make-believe sweet patootie blossoms. I reckon I'll wear the pink with the white sweet patootie veil. Does you think that'll look pretty, little Abner? Sure will. You aiming to go to a party? Yes, a wedding party. Oh, very unfortunate. Well, who's it getting married? You and her, naturally. Mm -hmm. Me and her? Yes, you and her. I didn't say nothing about no getting married. I wanted to make her happy, so I kissed her. That's all. That's enough. The boys around here don't kiss girls until the day before they get married. And today's the day before you get married. That's the code of the hills. <laughs> Abner, huh? you can't get married tomorrow noon. I got it. It's the code of the hills. But you'll be dayed. And if I'm dayed, I can't be married. Oh, happy tomorrow noon. I also got things to do. Here I am, knowing all about my future, and doing nothing about my mammies and my poor pappies. You know, it's most kind and considerate to be thinking of them at a time like this. Do you see this paper? Sure, I ain't blind. That's the Magoon reward. I'm going to Skunk Harbor. But our I aims to call briefly on Earthquake Magoon. That's what I aims to do. Little Abner. Do we do anything peculiar? I'll go to little Abner's mammy and I'll tell her. Smells a live dog patcher. How you know he's a dog patcher? Because he don't smell. <laughs> Will you quit fainting and open that safe? I only brought you along because you're the cashier. Yes, 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 yes sir, Mr. McGoo. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a, a bit nervous. <laughs> 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 here to take it to the sheriff for our aims to collect a $25 reward. <clears throat> That's most interesting. This our gifts to my sweet mammy and pappy, which they will use to live most comfortably the rest of their natural lives in dog pads. Is you all from dog pads? Naturally. Does you all know that you's about to be dead? Don't 
got a live hey, hand back up there. Your wish is to get out. Naturally, don't you? If I goes out, I'll have to marry up with Magoon. And he sure ain't my ideal. Does you show me another way out of here? I'll help you locate your ideal. I will be most delighted to help you. Does you keep your bargain and bring me my ideal? It's your young and Aladdin. I'll do anything you say. I'll... Mm -hmm. Does you does... oh, marry up with you? That's exactly what I mean. Oh, no, ma'am. I just couldn't. Just a minute. When must I marry up with you? Tomorrow, at noon. And not before? Exactly at noon. I'll be yours tomorrow at noon, no matter what shape I was in. Come on, pick up your bundles and follow me. So now. But this away. It's 23, 24. And twenty-five dollars. There you is, little Abner. Oh, thank you most kindly. Who has relieved the county of public toll cat number one? And further, Mr. Yoakum, you have saved all of the bank's money and my life. There. 
Joe is most kind. Oh, be careful. It's a ten center. I will guard it very tenderly. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sheriff. Goodbye. My poor innocent little pappy. I'm going to give you this enormous fortune. It don't look just like a do around dog pants. Cornelius Cornpole. And only yesterday I seen him a going turkey hunting. <gasps> Cornelius Cornpole. Who is that? Is that your little Abner? Sure is. Holy. Cornelius Cornport, I never thought you'd make it. <laughs> uh, but your show is an angel. Uh, uh, you really think so? I sure do. Tell me, Cornelius, does you like it up here? Yeah, I, I think it's fine. Cornelius, does they uh, feed you good? You know, does you get preserved uh, turnips and, and pork chops, maybe? Well, yeah, of course I does. Oh, gosh, that's most encouraging. Well, I, I gotta be walking along. Is y'all gonna walk? Yeah, sure. Confounded idiot. He walks. And with a pair of wings like that. But I ain't no chump. I'm gonna fly. Hey! Don't load no, no! I guess I ain't been dead long enough for him to sprout. What's the matter with you, boy? Cornelius, what's the matter with you? <laughs> Where are your wings? Stop it, stop it, stop it! Is you crazy? Oh, you're just trying to kill yourself. I can't kill myself, because I was already dead. <laughs> oh, is I? <laughs> Look, you're the livest looking yokum I ever seen. Uh, oh, I've got to be dead. On account of I done promise to marry up with two different gals come noon. Oh, what must I do? Mammy, I'm gonna fly home and... I'm gonna walk home. Better 
Somebody's got to help me. All I can do is just give you a hint. What is it, Mammy? It's safer to be a hound dog than a rabbit. What you mean, Pansy? Yeah. That's all I can tell you. Safer to be a hound dog than a rabbit. Ah, quit your worrying, son. I washed your nice, clean shirt for the Sadie Hawkins celebration tonight. Go on, go and have a lot of fun. Safe for a hound dog and a rabbit. Keep right in the groove, boys. Oh, I sure hate these formal dances. Shoes hurt my feet, too. Well, Abner, tomorrow we're liable to be bachelors no more. 
Little Abner, sure wouldn't mind to have this dance with you.
an earthquake. What do you want, little man? Uh, I would like to make a business call on you. What business a little skunk like you got with me? Ah, please hold your horses. Yeah. <laughs> First, I want you to keep your windy wildcat from marrying with our son, little Ab. Does she catch him in the race? I met your son. Does you give me that bar? I guarantee you'll never see Wendy Wildcat again. I know. You promise on your honor? I promise. Yup, it's high noon. Clear the car. Now everybody understands the rules. When I fire the gun the first time, the bachelor's takes off. Two minutes later, I fire the gun the second time, and the gals takes off. Any bachelor that gets catched has got to ask the gals to marry with him. Yeah, all you got to remember is to bring your man to me, sir. And I'm guaranteed to give you the finest wedding in the That's all. Everybody get ready. On your mark. All ready. Get set. got a chance with me. Go get him, Wendy. We for you.
Bridge of Polcats, Bar and Squire. Whisper. 